Yo, what's good guys, it's Shoto Draft. Hopefully everyone's doing well. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. And as you see in front of us, and also the title and thumbnail, we do have some mail from Japan. So without further ado, let's see what we got. First up, we have these cards right here, and it was in this plastic bag covered in cardboard. So this is a little bit concerning because I feel like it might have indented the card, even though these cards are sleeved. So fingers crossed that it's not damaged, but let's actually open it up. Majority of the cards in this mail day, I'm actually going to take to the Baltimore Regionals because there is a signing event, more specifically Koki Saito. He's doing a signing on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is actually my first signing event, so I have no idea what to expect. And I heard that the wait is going to be very long, and also with the recent hype and all autographs hopefully hopefully fingers crossed i can get through at least you know two or three times throughout the weekend because i have a ton of cards and i think what i'm gonna have to do ultimately is kind of prioritize what i want to get signed in the perfect world i'll get everything signed but then i don't think that's going to be the case so let's just go through these real quick so first off we're starting off with a rayquaza from the sky tree promo i believe and it is a shattered hollow as you see right there and the rayquaza itself is shiny and all of these artworks are done by saito himself next we have a black and white or maybe not it's a promo card but i believe this card was in black and white we just have a pikachu just chilling in like the middle of a field very cute and then these three cards right here it is from a promo i think it was the pikachu outbreak in yokohama in 2014 someone can fact check me below we have three different promos they're all different parts of okinawa i said okinawa yokohama so let's look at the first one and depending on the location i'll put it somewhere on the screen but we have a bunch of Pikachus and this building right here. It's like two towers. The next one, personally my favorite, there's a little Ferris wheel in the background. A lot more Pikachus right there. And the last one, it is a mall, I think, and a, more Pikachus, obviously. And the promo numbers for this, it is 68, 69, and 70. And yeah, the condition of these are pretty good. I think the condition that I bought them at was like condition B. Very pleased with the condition. And the last one is this Pikachu Poncho with the Charizard of Y mega form i guess but yeah we have the mega charizard right there with the pikachu on top and yeah it is a non hollow promo but i think this might be on top of the list in terms of priority but we have these six cards right here also i bought some trainer magazine promos these are the dragonite dratini and the dragonair line and i was so glad this came just in time i'm actually recording on the same day the thursday before the regionals event this just came in right in the buzzer beater so we have the dratini a dragonair and a dragonite this is exclusive japanese artwork and yet yeah, this was given out in the Players Magazine with the Dragonite cover. I think I actually, here it is, it's a little beat up, but we do have the cover right here. This was volume 19 and we see the Dragonite, which is the same artwork right here. So we see Dragonite, Trainers, Pokemon, I think it says Magazine. And on the back we see the Dratini and also the Dragonair. So yeah, love this set. I think it's so cool how this was a Japanese exclusive. So definitely want these signed as well as like a consecutive, you know, evolution line. So this is another set of cards that I bought for the signing specifically. Next, we have this right here. This is the Poke Park Blue File. I believe that's what it's called or Blue Sheet rather, as it says right there, Poke Park Premium File. And on the front, we do see water and behind it, we see a Kyogre. Fire Entei, Water again with the Suicune, Fire with the Ho-Oh, Rayquaza with the Colorless, a Fighting with the Groudon, Psychic with the Lugia, Lightning with the Raikou, and Tauros, which is kind of like an oddball. Colorless right there and opening it up. We do have all the Pokemon right there. Only these three right here, so the Suicune, Suicune, the Ray in the middle, and the Lugia are all hollow. The rest are just non-hollow. And if we turn this over, this actually features the entire artwork of all the legendaries Plus little Tauros right there trying his best to fit in. But yeah, we have everyone right there. I love this artwork so much. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can actually get this file sign. Like maybe like right here. But that will be amazing to just have this art piece signed by him. But yeah, I will go into more detail of the things that I bought in my separate video. Where I'm going to be showing you all the cards that I'll be getting signed. So I will be cracking slabs and also just figuring out which ones I'm going to prioritize. But let's move on to these right here so as you see right here we do have and the plastic did kind of rip 
But taking it out, we do have the victory medals. The more specifically, I believe this was a 2010, maybe the 2009, around the Heart Gold Soul Silver era. I do actually have two more copies of it, which totals to a set of three. So let me actually open, which one should I open? Let's actually open this one because the plastic is all over the place. And before I sleeve it up, let's actually take a closer look at it. So this is my first time ever seeing this card in person. So love the little hollow pattern on the metal right there. This is the gold metal and even the for the winner of the Pokemon card game, that is hollow as well. So love that little small touch right there with the text. We do see the silver medal right here with Pikachu doing a little wink and the medal is hollow as well along with the same text right there. And last but not least, we have the bronze. I should have went in reverse order, but we do have the bronze with another Pikachu winking at you with like the pink background. This one has like a greenish blue. And obviously for first place, we have like the golden red. So yeah. Also, we have a set of the LP energies right here. I believe it's grass through metal. So let's actually open this one. And funny story about buying these three sets, the seller actually posted the same exact listing like three different times, the same exact pictures. So for me, I thought I was getting scammed by like the third one but thankfully when that arrived it was actually in the cards because yeah it just seemed kind of like a scam when like he just reposted the same listing with the same pictures so thank god it wasn't a scam but we do have this grass energy and the little swirl right there if you guys can see that and these are the LP promo this is 011 LP we have a fire with another swirl right there a water all of these have a swirl I'll be surprised to see if there's one without. And speak of the devil, we... Can we find one here? Maybe? Uh, unfortunately not. So we have lightning. We have a metal with a... Is that a swirl? Maybe? Actually, no. We see one right there at the top. We have a psychic. But man, this hollow is insane. Love the cosmo hollow. A fighting with the swirl. And we have a dark energy in a similar spot right there. So yeah, we have all the energies along with the victory medals right there. And also side tangent, I did buy 20 VMAX Fire Max because why not? It was really cheap. So about 20 booster boxes, maybe opening these instead of the Shiny Star Vs in search of the Marnie, but instead I'll probably just open these boxes for fun. We'll see what the chase card really will be. But for now, I just wanted to let you know that about 20 booster boxes, so yeah. And for the sake of the video, let's actually open a VMAX Climax box because I feel like this video is gonna be relatively short because there's not really much to see. Because I'll be going in more detail in a separate video showcasing those Saito cards that I wanna get signed. Quick side tangent, the Pokemon company in Japan, they actually are redoing their booster box design, which I think is so clever. So instead of having this little um, tab right here that kind of goes in, they're actually gonna put a perforated tab, kind of like those like iPhone unboxings where it's just like a little like paper tab. It's gonna be the same thing, so it's gonna be nearly impossible for any resellers to reseal the boxes. So I think that's a great move on them and only if that can be adapted to the international audience, which is basically the rest of the world, to kind of give the general audience some confidence when buying sealed product. But yeah, so it's open one VMAX Climax booster pack. And I honestly have no idea what I wanna get because this set is just so good. So we're starting off with a, uh, what is this? A Metal Energy, a Dottler, a Stone Journer, a Galarian Mr. Mime, a Malamar, Bruno, Escape Rope, a Hoopa, Snorlax, Zashian V, ooh, we have a Eevee character rare. We have Bill right there with this little transporter. Love character rares. I love the silver around them compared to the horrendous yellow. Yellow is my favorite color, but then on cards like this, it just stands out way too much. The silver kind of blends in and kind of blends everything together. So yeah, and we will be finishing this box in future videos. So please stay tuned for that. But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the mail that I bought. Majority of it, as I mentioned, is going to be for that Saito signing. So please stay tuned for a video for that. If you guys like this type of content please like and subscribe and yeah thank you guys again and as always i'll see you guys in the next one peace